Okay, so it is 1.27 in the morning and I'm making this video real quick, just real quick. Okay, so let me tell y'all why I had to go ahead and quit Western Express, okay? So Western Express tried to get me to take two trailers that were fucked up. The first trailer, I was missing my rear axle, so my trailer was bouncing. And I had to drive it from Massachusetts all the way to fucking um, Richmond, Virginia to that terminal. Really surprised DOT did not pull me over, but I did it and I got it there. The second time they had a 45,000 pound load on a um, older trailer. The rope rail was fucked up. The winches were fucked up. The glad hands were fucked up. I told them I didn't feel safe taking it. They acted like they didn't want to take me off the load and put me on another one. So they were going to send a vendor out to fix it. The vendor never showed up for four fucking days. All right, so on that fourth day, I told them that um, um, they didn't care about my safety or anything. I tried to call the safety man that gives you the little, the little card that you can call him on. He never answered the fucking phone. I tried to look up that black man they be putting on them um, flatbed videos <laughs> in that class. Couldn't get a hold of him. I couldn't get a hold of nobody. The recruiter, not the recruiters, the um, driver managers kept switching me off to other driver managers like six, seven goddamn times. So, okay. I took all my pictures of the trailer, um, everything that was fucked up on it, all the messages that I had. I can't find my messages right now, though. And so, um, I told my driver manager that I was taking this, uh, truck, going to the house, taking my shit off the truck, and I will be bringing their truck back to Nashville to them. So I had got back home on a Tuesday. I was going to take the truck back on Friday and have somebody follow me because they were off work. So they didn't give me an opportunity to make it to Friday to take the, um, truck back. Um, I had, I got my emails where I tried to reach out to them. I tried to call them. Nobody wanted to answer me. So they came to pick the truck up, I think on like a Thursday or whatever. And no slack off my bag. They trying to say I got a truck abandonment, but I really don't give a fuck because I'm about to get it off. So a truck abandonment on a scale from one to 10 has like a, like a three rating on your fucking uh, DAC score or whatever. Oh, so, okay. Before I quit, I had enough sense to find another job. Baby, you got a CDL, you can find another job. Like it's real easy now. So, before I started my new job, I contacted the EEOC, OSHA, and um, the FMSCA on that ass, and I made complaints. So, I have an interview with the EEOC people. OSHA called me back, so but I was in class and orientation for my new job, so I have to call her back. And I have to do a follow-up with the FMSCA. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I got a new job, and um, yeah bitch fuck western express western express i came to the conclusion and i put this in the comment up on another western express driver's uh video i really feel like they want you to fuck your license up so bad to the point where you can't go nowhere else they want you to be stuck with them bitch you won't catch me up like that i'm sorry y'all can kiss my ass like seriously don't put your fucking license in jeopardy for nobody if it don't fucking feel right motherfucker is not right so don't fucking do it if they want to get another dummy let them get somebody else to move it if i get a ticket it'll be because i earned the ticket not because i'm doing something for a company that don't give a fuck about me anyway i have a cousin that works with them that's looking for a new job <laughs> get your three months and get the fuck out okay so now i'm with schneider i know the pay is not that good but baby they be on your ass about safety and i would rather somebody be on my ass about safety than not give a fuck about safety but the safety of nobody so i'm tired as fuck it's 138 i'll make a video about schneider tomorrow um i'll talk to y'all later